Yo, this your boy Double Up and I'm back with another <laughs> banger And today I came to get into that boy Wack 100 Talking about that boy Crip Mac, man Talking about he alluding, basically saying Asking is that boy telling, you get what I'm saying? Because he finally got his sentencing Way less than 10 years, 5 years, however many years people was talking about But before we start the video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe But let's get right into this content You had Crip Mac's, uh... Yeah, Simpson? yeah, yeah, I went. I thought I heard you talking in the background. Yeah, no, I mean, I made a, a YouTube vlog. I think I got like 180K right now of me going there, hanging out with his mom's, grandma's, baby. You see, he all about the numbers. He worried about the content. He ain't worried if Crip Mac get out, man. Yeah, it's at 180K, 808K. Like, bro, you not even worried about that guy, man. You went and get content, which is crazy. But let's get back into it. Maybe China Mac, nowhere to be found. He was in Vietnam hiding out from the law. Well, you know how that go. <clears throat> I did a part one on the um, Crip Mac thing, so I'm going to run part two what do you probably mean? tomorrow. What's part one? Well, part one is everybody was hearing this 10-year thing. You know, ghost gun. You missed out. You didn't hear my verse. I hear that. Hear that. I can't do it right now. I'll play for you after. I premiered it for those other dudes. Ghost gun, and he had prior convictions and felonies. So when we heard the 33 months. Hmm. It just sounded suspicious. But I've never done Fed time. I know about the Feds. I got people on my clubhouse floor who's been to the Feds. So I called one of the homies. He did like 262 months, a little mm. over 21 years. For the same charge? No, I mean, no, he was oh, a paperwork reader. Okay, okay. So I just kind of broke it down to him what it was and the different elements of it. And I told him I was recording him because mm -hmm. he didn't want to come to Clubhouse. And he gave me the green light. I could take the recording back and play it. Okay. But quite naturally, because I brought the recording back and played it, it's like wax at it. Okay. Right? But. But you're inferring that's way too little time. Definitely. This is what I'm. And you're inferring that there might be. So basically, Wack 100 trying to say that boy, Crip Mac, tell him. But at the end of the day, Crip Mac, he got mental problems, so that could help him. But let's get back into the content. How you guys feel? Drop it in the comments. Like, what kind of circumstances would lead to that? Well, you know, only when you're dealing with the feds, it's, it's um, uh, whenever you get below the mandatory minimum, right, we automatically assume you're cooperating. What? But it's other factors. Let me get to it. So he gave his whole spiel. He's been focusing on his workouts. About I think 14, the, judge, 15, the judge appreciated that. 14, 15 minutes his whole spiel on what it, what it is. So you know that guy's from the red side. Okay. Right? So I called one of my partners from the blue side, Big Fade from Long Beach Insane, because he's done a lot of time in the feds. So I sent him. He heard the recording. I said, yo, tell me if there's any holes in this or something that's missing. So Big Fave, and this was, you know, Big Fave is, uh, they're trades, they insane, right? So, you know, Crip Max the neighborhood. Right. But Big Fave called a spade a spade. So he sent me back this morning everything, all the other possibilities. Mm -hmm. So part one is what we think it to be. Mm -hmm. Part two is going to be the other possibilities by penal code and federal law that it could be. Okay. Ultimately, the thing is what's going to call the shot is um, his actual paperwork. Crib Mac would never tell. Well, He's a man know, of listen, principle. Facts. Listen, at the end of the day, I don't think he will. at the end do of the day, do? he does a lot of five. I don't, I don't think Crip Mac would tell. Do you guys feel like he would tell? If you do, drop it in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel. Do you feel like Crip Mac would, you know, get on that stand and point a finger? I mean, it's really nobody to tell on because he got caught with it by himself. But let's get back into it. This community. I'm running content, right? And you know people want to know. Um, so at the end of the day, my man says, what's going to be the determining factor? I don't want to say this wrong. Don't you think that the conversation about who's snitching should take place privately and then the conclusion no. should be brought out publicly? No. You think they it don't should, do nothing privately. It should all be dragged they out in public. They niggas publicly. They make up it publicly. Not Crib Mac. And uh, yes, he does. He's a good man. Well, I ain't got nothing against Crib Mac. It's content. Ain't nobody bigger than the content. You know that. 
Ain't no, nobody's been that just seems like a, a weird excuse to use for every single thing becoming a part of the public record. You don't think any kind of investigation deserves to take place? In, I am in closed door? Yeah, but you're doing it publicly. So what? I'm just saying, don't you think that the investigation so the would seem so a little bit more legitimate if you were doing it behind the scenes? No, because I had one. As if Adam 22 cares. It's funny how he acting like he care when he really don't care. Because as long as he get this content off, he don't care. It's crazy. We, the time we live in, everybody about that content. Whack almost 50 years old, man, doing all this stuff on Clubhouse and stuff. How you guys feel? Let's drop it in the comments and let's get back into it. One side, break down what he thought it to be. I called the other side. And he listened to that, and he sent me everything that it could possibly be in Crip Max's favor. We're going to run that tomorrow. But it's going to come down to his PSI report, which he has. You want to know why I don't believe it? So he was. three different people had to see the judge before Crip Mac while I was in there, right? Mm -hmm. First guy, black dude, based on his face tattoos and shit, looked like he could have been a gang member, right? He, they bring him in. The judge immediately says everybody has to leave the courtroom so we can discuss this guy's sentence or whatever. None of us witnessed any of it. So obviously we are all talking outside and we're like, if I had to guess, that's probably because he's cooperating. OK, but then, you didn't see the paperwork. We didn't see it. See, and, you're doing and, it. And I'm not specifying who this guy was. I don't know who the fuck okay. he was. It's just some guy. But then after him, Mexican guy, problems with meth, involved in alleged murder, whatever. They're talking about his probation. But this all happens right in front of us. Next guy, dude who lost his uh, his business as a result of the pandemic, et cetera, had a meth charge, violated his probation. That all takes place in front of us. Then Crip Mac comes out. They do the whole little song and dance with Crip Mac. They don't kick us out of the room. So you got four people. One of them, we got kicked out of the courtroom so that they could discuss. Seems reasonable to think that that might have been a yeah. snitching thing. Crip Mac, we all get to stay in there. So if there was going to be any kind of conversation about, like, okay, leniency because you told whatever, from my perspective, no All that shit going to happen how it happened. But at the end of the day, nobody bigger than the content. So I'm going to run the content. And I'm going to give it a fair shake. I got one side of it, and he's basing it on the mandatory minimum. I sent that recording to my boy Big Fave for me saying he listened to it. Okay, he's sending all this stuff to gang members. Man, ain't none of y'all no lawyers, bro. You get what I'm saying? And dude raised 50000 in order to help Crip Max. So that money talk, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like he's telling. Do you feel like he's telling? Like, <laughs> White 100, you know, you never know with this guy. Let's get back into it. And then he said everything he sent me was in favor of Crip Mac. Okay, well, that's good, yeah. Right, so I'm going to run that tomorrow. We must honor and elevate Crip Mac. At the end of the day. Of 55th Street. At the end of the day, the PSI. So you're going to have this side, this side, and then what's going to call the shot is the PSI report. Okay. Now, people get mad at me like they get mad at you. PSI stands for what? Pounds per square inch? I don't know what the fuck it is. That's what it is Should when I you're filling up a tire. No. Right, this is why I got, I'm calling federal p people that have been to the feds, did a lot of time in the feds to break it down, right? Uh, so I'm not going to be guessing with that type of shit. So I believe that based upon my study, there's a few factors in there that probably help Crip Mac. Okay. For one, his workouts, yo punk ass right. showing up. There you go. Remember what I told and you? Andrew Callahan, big deal. Remember what I told you? Andrew Callahan did a GoFundMe raise fifty thousand dollars for his lawyer. But look, remember I told you that makes a difference. Okay, you showing up? You they showing up? Barely acknowledged me, but 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 they acknowledge that his employer, his lawyer, did say that. The judge, I don't think, gave a shit, or it seemed like she was past caring about who was in the courtroom. No, he got love. Uh, two, I believe. Um, his um, mental history right? may have played a factor. That's what I was saying. His mental history, you already know he got schizophrenia and all that other crap. Like He can get a lot of sentences, especially if he got a good lawyer. You get what I'm saying? Good thing he didn't get 10 years, man. I mess with Kurt Mack, man. He's a very funny dude. You know, I don't know what he's doing in his personal life, if he really be telling or whatever that's going on. But I don't think he is. Let's get back into it. Which... Um, Big big fave sent me some uh, some literature on that. Three, the fact that the ghost gun and this I don't know for sure was kind of it was like inoperable. It couldn't shoot. Yeah. Right. So I think those played. Now the two things that puzzled me was he had 
two or three prior convictions, mm. which when it comes to the the little chart, kind of elevates you up there. But he might have got a safety valve based on his mental. Mm. So we're going to go over that. Baby Runner from Neighborhood 40s, he called me. Well, he came in the room talking crazy in the chat. I wasn't in there. So I called my man Pee Wee. Pee Wee got him on the phone. Me and Baby Runner went back for about 30 minutes when everything calmed down. And I sent him what I had. He said, okay, Wack, you really did do some research. I thought you was just on bullshit. I said, bro, I'm not going to run all the content at once. I'm going to run one side, let the people chatter. I'm going to run the other side, let them chatter. And then ultimately, it's going to come down to the PSR report. So I'm going to bring Baby Runner on Clubhouse. We're going to go over this shit. Wait, um, is Baby Runner anti crip Mac in this? No, right? No, he's pro crip Mac. Okay, good, good. Yeah. He's pro crip Mac. But, I, you know, for me to go run the room without him being there, because he really called real upset today. I got to keep it real because he's the only one that really seems to be upset. He Baby like, Runner? Crip, yeah, Crip Max, my guy. Right. Right? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to respect that. Once he saw... And yeah, I heard that Baby Runner always had Crip Max back, man. You get what I'm saying? Wack 100, he, he's strategic in what he do when it comes to this content space in this clubhouse. But let's get back into it. All the shit I had, he said, damn, Wack, you really was doing your homework. I said, yeah, two sides to it. If Crip Max told, that would be my 9-11. And I actually, well, I know, lived through 9-11, so it would be, it would be day, worse only, than that. It's only one thing. I'm just giving this perspective, this perspective. Adam, you are not no street guy, bro. If somebody snitches, not, you You shouldn't even care. You're a civilian, my guy. Like, you putting yourself into this stuff, man. On, man, anyways, let's get back into it. One not in favor of them. One in favor of them. So now all the factors are there. And then this PSR report is going to dictate. Okay. And probably Lupe if somebody has that shit. Hit my Lupe. Hit my Lupe. Yeah. Hit my Lupe. If not, they better get it from the attorney. And I'm pretty sure if they request it from him because they see both sides and ain't no people is talking. It could be. It might not be. He said this. This is that. This is that. Okay, the PSI dictates it. I'm pretty sure when they request it, they'll put it up and then that'll be it. I just, once you figure out that Crib Mac has never told, I want you to celebrate that as loudly as you have voiced this fuck. investigation. Listen, listen, I don't give a if he told or didn't tell it's just yes, content for me no i don't okay but you care about it in the sense that it's gonna change how your content comes out no it's content regardless the other shit's moving already right it's already moving the one side <clears throat> i started now let me tell you what i did i let go the side that's not in favor of him first mm -hmm. why because the attention span of people is going to remember what? You ever watch a documentary? They hit you with all the, the crazy theories and put, shit before they get to the actual truth. The last thing that's put in front of them. Right. So the last thing I'm putting in front of them are all the, these things that's in his favor. Right? Now, I don't give a if he did or didn't shit. I, it didn't, didn't matter to me. But looking at a lot of the, the, the facts that my boy Big Fave sent me, you know, I see it's a possibility that he could have got what he got. <laughs> I, c I guess I could maybe see Crip Max saying the wrong thing at the wrong moment with the cops just because he's such a free spirit and he's so yeah, thinking off the top of his head. But in terms of intentionally uh, rolling over on somebody else, no way. Well, first of all, white guy, <laughs> that doesn't exist where we're from. What? There's no saying the wrong thing at the wrong moment. Once you say the wrong thing, you said the wrong thing. Right. In his defense, I think if Crip Mac did say the wrong thing, it would just be incriminating itself. Yeah. I don't, he, I don't he think anybody— If he did say the wrong thing, yeah. he'll say some shit. Right. That's going to f*** him up. I could kind of see that. I don't think that. he's going to blurt out. It was him. Nah. It was Hoodie M. Slim. Nah, I don't think <laughs> Yeah, man, that's the end of that, man. How you guys feel? Do you feel like that boy Crip Mac, you know, is telling or whatever? He got a light sentence, but I think his mental health really had a lot to do with it because when I watched the video with Adam22, he was in the courtroom. They, they was going to do a mental evaluation, so it has to do something with his mental that got him such a light sentence. But I want to know how you guys feel, man. Drop it in the comments. But until next time, I'm out.